Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can enable or uh, disable the IDOC workflows in SAP because by default the error workflows related with IDOC is enabled and how can we disable it and also how we can if you have enabled the workflows how you can get an express item okay express item means it's a, a work item with priority one how you can get that okay so in order to do this you have to go first into we46 that's where i'm going and here if you see here you go in change mode and here you can see here you can just by selecting x on all these things you can disable by by default SCP always enables this you want to disable it because sometimes what happens you don't need it and it will create unnecessary work item that is meaningless for you and it will add more uh, entry into the workflow tables uh, which is meaningless for you so uh, if if at all you are going to use it and you want it as an express item lots of times you want to add it because whenever you log in you'll get a pop-up that there is an item so you can just select it from here make it x here okay similar things you can do for the status inbound this is for the error coding these are standard standard entries that you can uh, standard uh, configuration that has been created and you can change this okay so this is very very useful so if you are not using idoc workflows is the first thing you want to improve in this way you will you will improve your performance for sure